Welcome back, sister. It's day three of our 10-day challenge. Our theme is Simplify and Sanctify. I hope you had a wonderful, life-giving, restoring time with the Lord this morning that's going to set you up for success all throughout the day. Here to support you is MMC with your day three writing prompt. But we'd love it if you would open your Bible today to John chapter 15. And if you start in verse 1, we're going to read all the way to verse 11. It's, I am the true vine. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers, and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This month, our theme for this morning routine challenge is Simplify and Sanctify. And it's our prayer that your morning routine would experience a healthy pruning this month. To simplify, we'd like to suggest a routine with fewer than seven steps and needing less explanation. To sanctify, we are asking for God to speak from his own word and by his own spirit as we prune away what is not of him and abide more deeply in the love of Christ. Our expectation is that we would all experience more fruit from our morning time with the Lord and glorify Him more in doing so. How did your morning go? Be sure that you fill in the top of your workbook with each step that you had hoped to take and put a little check mark if you succeeded. Don't forget to check in with your team. And to do so, we're suggesting that you share a picture of a place that is away from the comfort and lure of your bed that you plan to go to sit with the Lord in the morning time. And if you'd like to hang out with us a little bit more and join in on the discussion here in MMC, your question of the day is, if you could only do one thing focused on God in the morning time, what would it be and why? Ladies, I'm of the mind that there's no specific right or wrong answer here. That's why it makes for such great discussion. So be sure to share, even if it's a different response than another lady may give. Um, Okay, so we can't wait to hear from you and your teams. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow for day four of the Morning Miracles Challenge. This is Laura Gabriel signing off. Thanks for watching. Simplify and Sanctify is a production of the Morning Miracles Challenge 10-Day Morning Routine Program. Receive your free digital workbook while we're in session here at the challenge by visiting morningmiracleschallenge.com. The beautiful 92 page print version of this workbook is available as a thank you for your gift to this ministry. Learn more about this challenge, how to give, how to get involved, and how to participate at morningmiracleschallenge.com. His mercies are new every morning. Have a blessed day.